So today, I'm going to be talking about how expats uh, in the UAE can use foundations to save a bunch of money on taxes and protect their assets when they leave the UAE. So for those of you who don't know, the UAE, uh, which includes Dubai here where I live, is about 90% expat. So it's 90% foreigners that are living here. And many of those foreigners uh, are wealthy. And a lot of the other foreigners move here to build their wealth. And one of the things that attracts uh, people to the UAE, in addition to opportunity, is the lack of any kind of income or estate taxes. It's a lot easier to build wealth when it's not being diluted by uh, income or estate taxes. That's all fine and great while you're living here. But what happens when you leave and you move to a high tax jurisdiction which often your home country is. I mean, this is especially true with a lot of Europeans, right? They, they, they move here and they enjoy living here tax-free, whether they have a job or they, they own a company or whatever, and they think it's great. And they, you know, if they already have wealth, they build it to a greater degree, or if they, they maybe didn't have so much wealth, maybe they built a lot of wealth when they're, when they're here in the UAE. And then they move back to their home country. And then all of these assets and the income they generate become subject to that home country's taxation, right? So assume that when you're in the, in, in the UAE, you had some properties here in the UAE, maybe you had a portfolio with some investments. So you, you, know, you have rental income, you have dividend income, capital gains, maybe you acquired some properties or investments in other countries, uh, which the income of which was all tax-free while residing here in the UAE. Well, when you move back to, to your home country, mo in, in most situations, all of that stuff is going to become subject to tax in your home country. So, you know, rents from your properties here in, 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 in the UAE, your interest, your dividends, all capital gains, all this stuff is going to be subject to your taxation in, in, in your new country of residence. But there is a better way. There is a solution. And it always surprises me how few people uh, do any planning for when they're going to move out of the UAE and, and, and move to, to another jurisdiction that has income and potentially estate taxes. They just move and you know eat the taxes, which is a horrible idea because like I said, there's a better way. And that better way is by using a UAE foundation. And here's how it works, okay? So here's UAE and here's tax country right where you're going to move to so here's you happy in the in the UAE with your rents dividends cap gains all tax free right but when you move to the home country because the home country is generally um a country with worldwide taxation, all of this stuff over here is going to be taxed in the new home country. But the solution is you set up a UAE foundation. Now, I like using RAC ICC foundations. I think they have a great law. Uh, and, and, you know, it's very modern and uh, I, I think very robust and offers a lot of protections. So anyway, what you do is you take all of the assets that are generating this income and you put them in the foundation. And then you move over here to the tax country and your UAE foundation stays in the UAE. So what winds up happening is when you because you no longer own these assets. Your UAE foundation owns these assets. So when you move to your new high tax country, all of the income that was being generated from these assets you accumulated while in the UAE is no longer belong, you know, all that income now belongs to the foundation because it owns the assets, right? And because the UAE doesn't have any income taxes, all that stuff's going to accumulate in the UAE free of UAE taxes. And those assets can then stay in the foundation for as long as you want. 
and, and the foundation can also make distributions to you, to your kids, to whoever you wanted to appoint as, as, as beneficiaries. Now, those distributions will likely be taxable in the country that you're living in, but you can control when you take those distributions and how much those distributions are, right? So this is a great way that you can keep your assets out of the tax system of your new country. You can protect them. You can accomplish your estate planning goals, right? Because in, in the UAE Foundation, you can put in there uh, who's gonna, how it should be administered, you know, not only throughout your life, but after your death. You can also have a succession plan built in there. So the succession plan is who's gonna control this stuff after I die. That can all be built into the foundation. And because the, the foundation is a separate legal entity, it provides tremendous asset protection uh, because you don't own those assets. So if you get sued personally, they can't go after those assets. And it offers privacy, right? Which is something that's more and more difficult to get. If you move with all your assets back to your, you know, to, to a higher tax country, and you have to disclose them all, uh, especially if you're very wealthy, you're going to be a target for, for for audits because you know that's what tax authorities do. Um, and and likewise, if you go to a, a, another jurisdiction, you know most jurisdictions that offer trusts and foundations and stuff like this uh, now have public beneficial owner registers, which means anybody can just go in there and you know look up your name or look up the name of an entity and see who's, who's connected with it and they know who's behind it we have beneficial owner registers here in the uae but they're private and so they can only be accessed by by the uae government who may give access to a foreign government but they got to show good reason why they need it right it's not so like willy-nilly here you go so this is a really great strategy for people um that that live in the uae that you know have wealth and they're planning on moving to you know, a country that has an income or a state tax uh, to save on both of those, right? Because by putting the assets in the UAE foundation, um, you're transferring title to those assets to the foundation. It becomes the owner. It's entitled to, to the income and uh, it, you, know, you protect it from, from this, this new country that you're gonna, gonna move to. Now, I just wanna make sure there's nothing else that I'm missing here. Um, so yeah, just a couple of additional points that I want to make with regard to UAE foundations, and that is one, uh, you generally transfer all of your UAE assets to the foundation completely tax-free. You can also transfer non-UAE assets to the foundation. Uh, we do have to look at a case-by-case -case basis to make sure if those assets are outside of the UAE, if it's going to trigger any tax to put them in the foundation, but usually you can find a way to do it for, for no or minimal tax. Additionally, uh, you can sit on the council of your foundation, right? So that means you can stay in control and still have influence over, over what happens with your assets. You can also put your family on the board or you know, trusted advisors, or you can have it professionally managed if, if you want. So it leaves the management of your assets um, you know, very flexible. Uh, also, you, your family, and whoever else you want can be beneficiaries of the foundation or receive distributions from it. And again, like I said, it's going to maximize uh, your, your privacy due to the, the private benefits owner register. So basically you get tax benefits, estate planning, succession planning, asset protection, and, and, and privacy. Really, what more do you want? If you're interested in exploring this strategy, we can help you set it up. Uh, check us out on the web at www.esquiregroup.com or shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com. Also, in the comments section, I would love to know your thoughts on how this presentation went, I guess this looks a little ugly, using um, this, this TV where I can, where, where I can write, uh, because I, I tried a whiteboard, that was a little difficult, I don't really like um, the, the you know, PowerPoint presentations quite as much because they're very rigid and difficult to change on the fly and you can't really get his video in there as good. Um, and to do it without any sort of, um, you know, visual aids, I think makes things a little bit more difficult to understand. So I love your thoughts on this new thing that, that I'm trying. Also, if you found this video useful, please like it, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna keep trying to pump out uh, a bunch of more useful information with different strategies and stuff that we have to offer here at Esquire Group. And we hope to see you, uh, you know, on another video soon. Peace.